that's actually half a sword and they've CGI'd the, the rest of the blade because it's physically impossible to grab that. I came to make you an offer, Tommy. Call me Storm Shadow. The action in this is over the top. Was there any part of your training that was particularly intense? It was an intense training sort of boot camp of two solid months of, of, of getting into shape and, and having that muscle memory to, to be able to kind of adapt on the go. I've been shooting for the last four years, uh, La Casa de Papel, an action show, so I can handle it. No problem. Yeah. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the fourth day, I couldn't move. Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> the costume was very stretch and tight. <laughs> so it was like doing my best, but uh, it was tiring. And how'd you fare with the weapons? Obviously lots of sword play in this. Any behind the scenes mishaps? I mean, I think we all, like all the cast members, owe each other a couple of bruises at least, but um, the stunt team kept <laughs> kept us very safe. Because the swords on, 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 on Tommy, there are two of them on the, on the back, you literally can't raise your arm to, to raise. Firstly, the pad blocks you from the way, and, and secondly, it doesn't actually, it doesn't work. You know, you can't, it's too long to take out. So there's actually a, a, a double uh, half sword. For every time that I take out the sword, that's actually half a sword, and they've CGI'd the, the rest of the blade because it's physically impossible to grab that. I know you. I know you, snake eyes. So how much of your decision to take on a role in Snake Eyes was swayed by becoming an action figure? Oh. It was pretty much a no-brainer, you know, to get be able to like play a badass ninja who gets her an action figure. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> uh, have you seen it? It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was shocked when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. So it was a big surprise. I'm not going to lie to you. That's the byproduct. If you do a good job, then yeah. Yeah, then people want you on their shelf. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When taking on kind of like a role like this, that's the last thing you think of. But you know at the end of the day, there's a great souvenir if you do well. And that's like this beautiful uh, toy that these master craftsmen from Hasbro curated for you. But for me, to be honest, it, it, it really was about kind of doing this character justice. Um, and doing it in a way that hadn't been seen before in the past movies or perhaps the, the, the comic books. So the toy was a, definitely the cherry on top. That's what you read, boots! It's an origin story. 